Hey guys, welcome to my Grounded Let's Build series, where in this series, I'm hoping we can do a bunch of building and completely transform the backyard. Now, although these won't necessarily be tutorials, I am hoping I can give you guys some tips and tricks and some inspiration for your own builds along the way and kind of show you guys my thought process while I'm doing some of this stuff. If you guys have any comments or anything that you want to see from me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future videos as well, please hit me up with those. For this first build, we're going to head to the rock wall by the hedge. So with that, let's hop into creative mode and get going. All right, so I have the front entrance somewhat figured out. We're using the mushroom bricks as a frame in the bottom and then the mushroom stem walls with the feather roofs. Now, the one thing about this that I don't really like is the fact that I like to build on like an odd number because the doors are one tile. But in doing that, you get some weird geometry like this piece here is like hard to fill. And I don't know, it does look the greatest, but I prefer this as opposed to like a door that's not like not centered. So anyways, we're gonna mess around with that still. And then here you can see I'm using a half wall, like I, or I'm not using a half wall, but I'm using a like half on this piece. And I wanted this to stick out on both sides, but it doesn't really look right. So I'm gonna mess this and redo this side. But you can see I've done it on this side as well, where I've actually pulled this forward a little bit. And I've done it on purpose because I want, like just the way that the, where the roof sits, I wanted this to be kind of centered, not at the back. I don't know why, it's just a, just a feel I had for the front of this. So what we might have to do to hide this floor piece here is put like a like a false wall or something. We'll, we'll figure that out after. But I do need to finish this side up and get the layout of this figured out. As you can see, they will not be symmetrical. Uh, it's gonna be a cool design. So uh, let's continue.
So on this side here, you can see I kind of switched it up. I'm using the bricks and the ash walls, which I've never used before. But I like the I like the contrast with the uh, with the roof here. So I might switch this all up. Like this is all wood. I'm just kind of messing around. With it. I might switch all that up after. You can see I have both of them kind of going here. So we'll we'll play with that as we go. But what I'm trying to do right now is actually match our roof line. So you can see here I've got multiple roofs. This one comes out a little bit. This one's a little bit higher and goes off the side. And then this one here is going to be. Um, off this one, there's a little wall here and then up. This now actually needs to be down a half wall. I was just building this like this, trying to get it to snap properly. So I'm gonna lower this by a half wall, but then this one here actually needs to be up by a half wall. And the only way to do that is actually by adding another piece in here, because again, we can't do like two wide. It's gonna be three to get that, to get that peak in there. So we might have some messing around to do with that. Yet. Okay, so I like the direction we're going with this thing. I've got the roof mostly figured out now. I mean, it's getting complicated, but I think it's coming together. You can see this one piece here. I'm just using it to get onto the roof. You've probably seen it a lot throughout the video, but um, you can also see I've added these stone bricks here, uh, the stone half walls, and that's just to add a little bit more decoration, like a little bit more detail on this roof line. Now over here, I'm going to continue working on this. I want this roof to be sunk a little bit here. You can see how there's a half wall there, or a triangle here, sorry. Now, one thing I might do is I might change these walls out. I like having the purple of these ash walls for the windows, 
but I might change this to the um, stem walls as I have down here. We're gonna work on that right now. I'm just breaking the layout like get proper and then we'll deal with the rest later. Same thing here. I might uh, change some of this out and change up here. I don't know. I like these windows more than I like the uh, the stone windows. I think those look like crap to be honest. I mean, they're too castly. Um, the other thing I'm doing down here is I've put this half door. No, I don't like it, but I want the door. I want it centered on like this. Well, I don't know. I want it centered in a different way. And I might move this. I actually might put it here now that I've done this triangle piece. I don't know. Are the circle piece? I don't know. Um, this window is kind of temporary as well. But for the moment, I'm just trying to figure out this roof line. Now, this back roof piece here is going to be very similar to up here, where it's two kind of pieces together. So once I have that figured out, we will start working on the back. And hopefully, next time I cut, we'll have the roof completely done and the walls completely done. And we can start the interior.
All right, well, it's taken some time, but I think I have the exterior of this thing mostly sorted out. So in the front here, we have like this, was it gabled? I don't think that's the right word. Anyways, uh, we have this like two tier thing coming forward that goes off the side here. And again, I'm trying to do this like multiple roof thing. And uh, I've seen this in a lot of like modern, uh, what kind of house? Like it's like a tra transitional style home, I think they call it. Anyways, let's get over here. Uh, the camera doesn't go any farther. So here I have to fill in a few holes up there. You can see there's a hole, but I've kind of built this. So there's like multiple pieces going in and out just for some depth. Um, you can see here it goes out here and then it goes back out there. We got multiple doors here. I do have some roof stuff I need to work on. And then over here, we have a nice little balcony over here that kind of goes into this weird shape. Now it looks kind of strange because it's not centered, right? So let me go here. So the door is not centered and I did this on purpose, but it makes it look a little strange because there's only three pieces here and then it hangs over. But I really like how this is like a little off centered and it makes it like, I don't know, it looks kind of crazy, but I think it's really cool. So once we come down here now, I'm gonna mess around with this. I'm probably gonna change the wood out and uh, make it, you know, either the ash or the stone yet. But these are things I wanna just work around on. And this here now, I've kind of been working on how to make this like hang over a bit more right here. I wish this hung over just a little bit more. And I think I might have an idea for how to do that, but uh, it's gonna take me a few minutes to do. So maybe I will rip that apart and I'll show you guys in the next section when I'm there. But if you look in here now, you can see we have a ton of work to do in here. This is an absolute mess and we need to make this look cool. So uh, yeah, let's do it right now. All right, everyone, well, I have this build pretty much done. So let me show you guys the interior and show you what I've kind of done with this place. Now, it's not set up really for a survival base. It's more or less just enough just to kind of show things off. And I mean, you can do a lot of different things with this if you wanted to. Uh, over here, I've got just some armor stands set up in different ways just to make it look good. Um, we've got some stuffed animals. Animals, they're bugs, but let's just, you know, whatever, they're stuffed animals. Um, just like the statues here. Over this way, we've got a little bit of a makeshift kitchen. You know, we've got your cooker, uh, sort of the cooker thing there, the oven, uh, the fridge, little stove action. And then over here, I've got just some pallets and a workbench. So this area looks very used and very like we're working on it, you know. Um, out the side here, we have just like a little balcony. I don't say balcony, like uh, deck type area, I guess you could say. So you could do whatever you want up here if you wanted to like, you know, use this for whatever. Um, over this way, this is very wide open. But I really didn't know what to do here, so I kind of figured like if I was building this for like a survival base, we could do more with this. And I started experimenting with putting roofs on the inside. I don't know why, but I think it looks kind of cool having this little like piece here. It kind of separates it and it breaks like the eye line. You can see like there's a, a triangular wall here that doesn't really work right, but you don't really notice it unless I point it out like that. And then up here, same thing. There's a lot of space in this thing, uh, in this build that I've kind of hid. Like up here, I can show you this. So 
if I break this piece here, you can see it's actually hollow. But I did that because I didn't like how some of the floors were looking up here. So I just went ahead, put the floor in, hit it, called it good. No big deal. Uh, over here, we have our stairs going up again with some more stuffed bugs. Uh, we go up into this area and it's this gets a little bit cramped up here. Now, I did this on kind of on purpose because I wanted to, you know, make it definitely feel more cozy. It was looking a little too big and open and empty. So we've got some like seating area here. I got a little walkway up into our bedroom or whatever you wanted to make this. If you wanted to change this thing again, I started using the roofs on the inside just to kind of break this up. And I think it looks really cool. The only thing I wish this game had was half stairs. All you have to do a half, like we have half floors, but the only way to get up it is with a ramp. And I don't think they look good personally. Um, I started growing some mushrooms in here and this thing here, again, this area, I kind of opened it just for some more space. Um, you could put walls in here if you wanted and lock, uh, close it in. And same with this, this is hollow up in here. You could open these four pieces and you'd have more space, but I didn't really know what to do with it. So I wanted to kind of just change the levels there. Over here we have another armor stand, you know, this little area that I'm looking out and I've hid lights kind of behind the pillars cause they're very harsh uh, when they're close to the wall like this. So it kind of breaks it up and at night it looks really good right here. Uh, over here, we've got another little workshop type area. Now I've made this kind of like, you know, this is not straight. It's on purpose. This is like, I wanted this to look very worked, like used, like it's being worked in. So we got like a half pallet there of stems. We uh, also went ahead and you can see it right here. There's a double roof in this. So this is actually, there's a roof on the outside, then a roof on the inside. And I did that just to kind of hide like the ugliness of the way I did the roofs on the outside. And I think this looks really good. It gives another dimension here and a little more depth. And I, again, I think this uh, actually make this looks, makes this look a lot better on the inside, especially with this up here as opposed to this type area. So I might do that again in other spots. And this also allows us to put a stair here. And again, I made this as like an attic where like, you know, you just kind of throw things that you're not really like expecting to be used. So I made it very messy. So it looked like, you know, people were storing things up here more than anything. Um, yeah, I hope this makes sense. But again, you could do whatever you want with this. I had a lot of space. And, you know, Grounded doesn't have a whole lot of stuff you can put in some of these, so you have to get kind of creative with it. Uh, out here, I've got our little balcony area with our water and our water collectors and stuff. We got another little, you know, walkway here, which once you're in this, you can't jump out of it, which is kind of annoying. That's why I have to go on the outside. But I really like how this looked. Um, having, like, you know, just a little... I wanted to break it up with the stem stuff on the outside, and I think it turned out really well. Um, we have one piece of wall that sticks out right here, which is kind of annoying, but I needed to do that for some stuff up here. So it, it, you know, you make some, make some sacrifices where you can. And the only other thing I've done is on these walls on the outside here, like I said, I've used ash walls and the brick and I left this stem. So I could probably play around with that a little bit more if I wanted to, but honestly, I think it looks really good the way it is. And I kind of like how this is like a different palette than this side. I don't know, it kind of looks like it was added on afterwards in a sense, and I, I kind of enjoy it. I'm, I'm not really sure why, but I do. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with a couple of fly-through shots on this. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you comment, subscribe, all the other good things. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you next time.